This movie may prevent you from ever flying again. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of non-stop, non-stop action, right? Yeah! What was that? And of course, non-stop stars Mr. Liam Neeson being all Liam Neeson-like with his punching and his crazy jujitsu moves, and he just, it's almost like, you know what it is? I just thought about this right now. He almost has like a Steven Seagal quality to him when he fights, but it's so much better because if you ever watch like a Steven Seagal movie, it almost like he already knows, like it's so choreographed that he just, when he turns around, he's like a Jedi and he already knows like a punch is coming. He's just K -k 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 ponytail. But with Liam Neeson, it's just like, uh, he's like, blah, blah, and he's throwing elbows and shit and just like bending people's like hands back and just like grabbing their nostrils. Anyways, nonstop, so of course, stars Liam Neeson and he plays an air marshal who's kind of down on his luck. He doesn't like to fly, which kind of sucks when that is your job, is to fly. And he gets on a plane, just a normal everyday thing. Well, not everyday, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I don't fly all the time, but he has to fly to London, which is a long flight. And uh, basically what happens is, is he receives a message on his phone, on the private network on his phone. And someone claims that someone is going to die every 20 minutes if they don't get $150 million transferred over to him. So, get on it, Neeson. So naturally, Liam Neeson takes it in his own hands to save everybody, but in the middle of everything, he basically is getting set up and everybody thinks he's like hijacking the plane and just pure madness happens and, and it gets all Liam Neeson. What did I think of nonstop? I fucking enjoyed the shit out of this one. Holy crap. I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I mean, honestly, I was going, well, it's got Liam Neeson, it's cool. You know, it's gonna kick some ass, but it wasn't like, yeah. <sighs> Yeah. The movie was shot very well. I must say, it was shot very well. And I, it was actually from a director who actually worked with um, Liam Neeson previously with a movie called Unknown, which actually was a pretty decent flick too. I think what really does it for this movie is the claustrophobia that you have watching this because, you know, obviously it's in this freaking tube with wings on it the whole time. I mean, that's the whole movie takes place pretty much, except for like the beginning, and, you know a little bit and then all of a sudden you're in the plane and that's it. Like there's a claustrophobic like sense to it that you're like, eh, what if I was on that? Holy crap. No one has its fair amount of t twists and turns. Like a, there's a couple times where I'm like, okay, I could see what's gonna happen. And then a couple times I was like, oh, well, oh. And Liam Neeson did a great job. Actually, the whole cast did a great job. Uh, but yeah, Liam Neeson, I mean, he was, he wasn't like, the normal ne Liam Neeson, this is why it was a little different, you know, and I always say like, oh yeah, you Liam Neeson that, hey, Kevin Costner, Liam Neeson that role, ha! But he's not like the normal like, oh yeah, I'm just like a bad, like he is a badass, but he's not like, oh yeah, I, yeah, go ahead. I'm like, yeah, huh, huh, I'm Mr. Joe Cool and just, uh, yeah, that's me, huh? He's down on his luck, he doesn't like to fly, he's just, you really feel sorry for him. And there's some times too, because obviously they make it seem like, oh, uh, is he hijacking the plane, what's going on? and you feel bad because it's like he's trying to save people and then it's like, okay, what's going on here? Julianne Moore, she's in it too. She's actually very adorable in this movie. Uh, she's usually adorable though. There's something, she has a very adorable quality to her. But she provides that counterbalance, so it, it worked. And then, you know, like I said, twists and turns. I mean, a lot of critics have been complaining about everything being so like, you know, convenient. Which are some moments where you're like, okay, that happened too perfectly. I mean, obviously movies are always going to be like that, but it was, sometimes it was like, ah, that was a little too convenient, but what can you do? But overall, I was really engaged in the story. Like I was like, it, like just going, okay, who the fuck is doing this? I can't, uh, it's not her. But yeah, the story really grips you. The tension is like really there. I mean, it was shot very well too, like for being just all in the plane, like the 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 shots, the film work, the cinematography was actually pretty excellent. And like I said, the performances were great. And um, overall, I really enjoyed the movie. You know, I'm not saying it was like, holy shit, you must see this. You know, it's, but it's a damn good time. And if you're a Liam Neeson fan, you should really check this out. I'm just a fan of tension, who done it, you know, kind of action flicks, you know. Go watch it. It's very, it's very entertaining flick, I must say. And I highly recommend it, actually. I highly recommend it. See, I don't just recommend, I highly recommend it. 
highly. But let me know if you guys saw it down below in the balls area and let me know what you thought of it and also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and also visit filmjunkie.com for your latest movie news, film reviews, all that fun stuff. Uh, okay, yeah. I had a beer for I shot this. Well, Alright guys, I am David, the Film Junkie, and I brought you a film review of Nonstop. <laughs> there was like a moment too when I was like, it was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Is he gonna like grab somebody and just go get off my plane? <laughs> I mean, I think that's just like the, it's like a running joke. I'm sure they even. They, I, I much want to bet they joked about that like, you know, while filming it because it's like, oh yeah, you're like the new Harrison Ford. <laughs> Congratulations. He kind of is, because you know Harrison Ford is like 70. Liam Neeson's only in his 50s. He had a wow. I was gonna say he had a pass down the whip, but he's, I, don't, I don't think Liam Neeson's gonna be Indiana Jones. Although he could pull it off. There you go, Hollywood. You're welcome. Get Harrison Ford out of there, he's too old. Let's get some Liam Neeson, Indiana Jones. Now that'd be terrible. That would, people would throw a bitch fit if he thought Batfleck was bad. Holy shit, I think the internet would literally explode if that was announced. Like, all of our computers, uh, apocalypse would happen, apocalypse would happen. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later.